Here's the Prezi I created for the Teacher Academy students at my district. Uh, I was one of many educational professionals who had to present based on my job description. So I think she had counselors and principals or school psychs, all different kinds of people come in and just talk about what we do so they'd have a better understanding of different options that they have when they get out of college. But anyway, like I said, this was designed to demonstrate all that I do, but I thought that this Prezi could be easily modified for another audience, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. So, library media specialist, and I always try to hook them, and we are talking about stereotypes, all the things that they think about librarians. Man, it makes me shudder. It's very disappointing quite actually. So I have a little clip on YouTube about this obnoxious librarian who says what you can and cannot check out. Um, oh, let's see. That's, our internet must be running a little slow today. Goodness. Well, I'm just going to go on. I'll pause it so it doesn't start midway through my spiel here. So then we start this discussion about how it's important to feel welcome and invited, and a library is a perfect example of that. And then I unleash the pictures, these great pictures that, you know, when you don't feel welcome, do you want to go back? Mm, I don't think so. Heck no, you don't. So then we have a discussion about being inviting and approachable, and that is as much a part of my job as anything. Uh, and talk about the three cardinal rules, and I think we all know this about being welcoming, saying hello, greeting. I'm not saying wait on the door at the door for them, but uh, all these things are important. Having a sense of humor, which I'm going to talk about more at length. I swear this one has helped me out so much, uh, but like I said, we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then number three, make them happy that they walk through the door. Come on, it's supposed to be the best place in the whole building. So then, honestly, sometimes kids think all we do is put books on the shelves, but they don't figure about, figure on how we get them in the first place and all the things. So I really went through this list pretty completely with them so they have a better idea of the things I do behind the scenes even. And then we talk about how librarians have changed and we add technology. So here are some of the things we do daily in terms of technology, and this is a great checklist. Heck, half the staff in your building may not know that we're doing these things. This is a great YouTube clip. And the other thing I wanted to say about that is I love Prezi, how easy it is to insert YouTube clips. But as you can see with some of these, uh, it really just depends on the connectivity. If your system's running slowly, it won't really work very well. Anyway, I indicated what it means to have strong media programs. Kids didn't realize, heck, if you have a great library, kids do better. And I think that's important to educate our community members and our kids and sometimes you need to start with the kids because heck they'll go home and tell parents or whatnot. So after that we have a discussion so why wouldn't you want a qualified media specialist in every school? Good question, huh? I love that. And talk about all the different kinds of technology. Yeah, these kids today they don't even know what some of these <laughs> are they've never seen in the classroom. But here are some of the, oh, and dag nabbit, this has been the slowest of all of them. I'm so sorry that it's not working today. This is the, uh, 
what is it, the video that talks about the state of technology and how important it is in today's society. So I'm going to pause that. So two minutes into my presentation, it doesn't start when I'm talking about something else. Anyway, here are all the devices that we use, and there are many more. So then I added this. I know what you're thinking. Why do we need librarians? Because isn't that the big question out there? We've got all this technology, and now we're not e needed anymore. But we had a big discussion about that we're just out there, and we're helping people, and we're teaching, and we're teaching how to make better searches. That technology is cool, but it's just a tool, people. Don't, don't panic. <laughs> And did I mention, and this is another thing, they think I picked all these books and they don't really know why, but I talked about philosophy, that it doesn't matter what I think, and I'm pretty opinionated, to be honest with you, but I try to keep that on the DL, the down low. And um, here are some cartoons here. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like your opinion, man. Anyone know the big Lebowski? <laughs> I it just kind of made me giggle when I was making it. <clears throat> so if library media specialists do not do their jobs well and show people our worth, the position will not be respected and jobs will disappear. Well, heck, we see this, don't we? It's so sad. I'm sure we're going to hear more stories at the convention just this 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 week of more people losing jobs. It's frightening and everyone loses, we know that, everyone. Got it? So as future teachers, how does this affect you? Gulp, and then we ended with a nice discussion as to, you know, what do we do? Obviously, they want the services we provide. We need to, what do we need to do to educate people and keep media specialists? on staff and try to have one in every building. Gosh, interesting quandary. So I'll leave you with this. Oh dear, there are these videos that are out in no man's land I didn't know how to get rid of. But anyway, um, we'll talk soon. <laughs>